Good morning. Uh, here from Interbike, my name is uh, Jack Bronson and I'm, I'm general manager for Bafang in Europe. But of course, I'm also attending Interbike with a lot of um, interesting new features from Bafang. Yeah, we developed a new e-mountain bike system because e-mountain bikes is, is hot in Europe and also in the US. So we wanted to develop a new engine and uh, we have two versions, we call them M500 and M600. And what is particularly interesting about these engines is I think the weight. Uh, the weight is pretty low. So if you look at the weight of the M500, that's the 250 watt version. Um, not shown here, but there the weight is uh, 3 kilograms. And the uh, M600, that's a 350 or 500 watt version. The engine of course is slightly bigger. That one goes, uh, that, that one is 3.4 kilos. Uh, another important thing for e-mountain bikes is of course the Q-factor, so we have an extreme good Q-factor of 177 millimeters. The Q-factor, what it means, is the, um, the distance between your two feet, and that should be as small as possible to have a good power transfer on the system. That's the Q-factor. Another thing what's possible with this engine is to have a very short what we call RC, and the RC is the distance from the crank to the rear axle. With this engine you're able to manufacture a bike that has a short RC and that's very interesting for the rideability of the of the e-mountain bike. But yeah, we have two versions, one 250 watt version for the European market and that one goes up to 95 newton meters. And the other one we developed is called M600, and that's the one you see here. And that's available in a 350 watt version or 500 watt version. And that one goes up to 120 newton meters. Yeah, we developed uh, two types of batteries. It's both integrated. One is uh, the one you see here is a 370 watt hour version, but we also have a, a bigger version, and that's a 600 watt hour version. And in the near future we will have a 1000 watt hour version of this integrated battery. It's, it comes slightly out then, but the size is the same. Yeah, yeah within Bafang we have a lot of different systems. Uh, we do mid-drives, but we also do front hub motors, we do rear hub motors. Here you see a very popular product. Uh, what's interesting with this product, you can combine it with either a speed sensor in the bottom bracket or a torque sensor. And you can combine it with any display from Bafang. It's all interchangeable. Uh, our strategy, company strategy, is that we want to be as flexible as possible. We even do a lot of white labeled products. You're even possible to, to, to design your own display, for instance, but the, our limit is always uh, uh, flexibility, as, as flexible as possible, but the limit is always serviceability. So all our products should be where we should be able to service them, of course, so that, that's, that's sort of less the limit in flexibility. So white labeled is possible, and that's for all these products. What you see here is uh, a very powerful 1000 watt mid motor, which is, could be very interesting for, for, for instance, cargo bikes. It's very robust, and you also can go lower than 1000 watts, of course, depending on the input of amps you power through it but the whole reduction system is very very robust this is our most popular mid motor we call it uh, the max drive that was one of the first integrated mid motors from Bafang very popular we sold roughly 100,000 pieces from it you see it in a lot of European brands and this is what we call still called the generation one mid motors you can retrofit it on um, standard bikes. This one is particular, you can see it on the axle length of the, the bottom bracket for uh, fat bikes. It's a 1000 watt mid motor. Uh, it's limited to the fact that it's uh, speed sensor only, but it's very popular as a retrofitable kit in, uh, in the US. And here we have a powerful rear motor also extremely interesting for, for fat bikes.
And again, you can combine it with any kind of displays from, from Bafang. You can combine it with a torque or a speed sensor in the bottom bracket. We have different lengths of sensors for, for different bottom brackets. Yeah, we developed uh, a through axle rear hub. We don't show it here yet, but uh, it's ready. We will produce it from April next year. And that can also become very interesting for e-mountain bikes. Yeah, it also has a very easy, easy system to take off your power cable. It's a magnet system. Yeah, we recommend people to go uh, to visit our website. It's uh, bafang e.com. We have uh, a US company now, so people can contact us here in Las Vegas, where we have a branch. We have a BV, we have a European office in the Netherlands. And of course, we have our head office in, in China.